welcome everybody to another amazing episode of the Lime Boss podcast. I'm Heather Gray, aka the Lime Boss. And did you have digestive issues or maybe brain fog or energy issues? It could be undiagnosed Lyme and mold toxicity like it was with myself. That's why I like to have these types of shows, right? To bring the light to some of these topics that are not a lot of people are talking about. And my next guest has been talking about this stuff way longer than anyone else I know. That's why I fell in love with him back 15 years ago with Bulletproof Coffee. And I'm still in love with him and the products that he puts out there now and just the truth bombs that he drops on a regular basis. Yes, I'm fangirling a little bit. I'm actually feeling myself blush. So just stick with me. Um, I'm everybody. blushing too, Heather. I, I... <laughs> a warm welcome to Dave Asprey. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Heather. I know the first time I met you, met you, you actually were like, I'm judging you. And so he's, he's good about getting people to blush. Like he knows the triggers. I was like on the phone frantically with some weird crap with my credit card company. And, and he's over there yelling at me, I'm judging you. And yeah, so this is now like the second or third time you've gotten me to blush. <laughs> it's like a record. Anywho, let's talk about, you know, why, 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 why did you back in the day start talking about mold and lime before anybody else? And we'll get deeper into your new coffee line, which I absolutely love. It's the only coffee I can drink that doesn't make me feel like crap. And so let's dive into all that, shall we? Absolutely. Well, when I was 14, I was diagnosed with arthritis in my knees. By the time I was 30, I had weighed 300 pounds I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia and I had crippling brain fog. Nothing worked for losing weight, including 90 minutes of exercise a day, six days a week. Uh, and I ended up spending, oh, about at the time, three or $400,000 to get well. And then I, at this point, I've spent about $2 million on just going beyond being healthy on reversing my age. Uh, you'll see other people talking about that magic $2 million number. I spent $2 million over 20 years. Uh, on that, not because you have to, but because I spent a lot of it on stuff that doesn't work. So I just felt called to talk about the effects of environmental toxic mold. I was diagnosed with Lyme disease uh, and not just diagnosed, I had started a laboratory testing company that did uh, live red blood cell and white blood cell counting to see if you had an active Lyme infection, which I did. That was likely, in my experience, caused by exposure to toxic mold in multiple homes. I grew up in a basement with toxic mold as well. So I became an expert in it because, well, I had to get well because my job in Silicon Valley requires my brain to work. And I was frankly feeling stupid all the time. <laughs> uh, I eventually, when I was failing out of Wharton Business School, got a brain scan from Daniel Amen, mm. uh, who showed, oh, look, you have toxin induced brain damage. And uh, today I'm on uh, the Amen Clinic's board of directors, but it was Dr. Amen's work that uh, really helped me to see I had a hardware problem in my brain and I could fix that versus a moral failing of just not trying hard enough, which is what I thought was wrong with me. And this is so common for people with Lyme and mold. It drove me to make uh, a mold free coffee. And the reason for that is that coffee makes you feel amazing when you have the symptoms of Lyme or mold. And you don't need to rely on it all day long, but sometimes just a cup in the morning, even if your adrenals are fatigued, it can be life changing because now you can function and, and it's actually beneficial. But I quit coffee for five years because it would make me feel so much worse. And it was only after coming back from this trip to Tibet where I, I actually had the idea for blending butter into coffee on the side of Mount Kailash, one of the holiest mountains in the world. And I came back and I had just a cup of coffee. I'm like, I'm, I'm cured. I can drink coffee. I'm not allergic anymore. And then the next day I had another cup of coffee and it just wrecked me. And I said, wait a minute, it's not me. It's different coffee does different things. And I went down the rabbit hole and then I created the world's first mold-free coffee brand. And what I'm running today, that one was called Bulletproof. And what I'm running today is a new company, my newest creation called Danger Coffee where I'm running my latest lab tests on coffee and I'm adding ionic and trace minerals that actually bind to toxins as part of what they do. So when you drink the coffee, you're getting a very substantial dose of trace and ultra trace minerals, the kind you would actually have to take as a separate supplement, but it's in your coffee. So the heat activates it, you drink it and you feel great. Uh, so all of that came about because I was one of those people who had heavy metals and lime and mold 
and mast cell activation and histamine intolerance and lectin and all the crap that comes uh, and I hacked it. And at this point, I'm six and a half percent body fat. Um, I have a, uh, you know, my my caffeine uh, tattoo uh, on here. <laughs> and uh, but you can see, like, dude, what what kind of three hundred pound fat computer hacker from Silicon Valley ends up looking like this when he's well, I'm biologically thirty nine, and on the calendar says I'm fifty one. But man, I I've never looked or felt better, and it's because you can get control of your biology, and that's the definition of biohacking, which is a movement I created around this to bring longevity and healing from chronic illnesses and all these other things, not because of doctors, but because of you, where you're in the driver's seat. And that's the very definition of biohacking. And I get an amen. Like, amen. Oh, I'm just so excited. I just, I can't imagine you 300 pounds and slow because you're just so sharp and amazing and vibrant and full of life and fit. Like folks, I've seen his, his abs in person. We had a costume party at one of the conferences we were at. And I was like, damn, those aren't Photoshopped. Like, no, he's, he's, the, he's legit the real deal. I did not know you were involved with the live blood analysis company. Like that is so cool. I love well, this wasn't microscopic live blood analysis. Oh, this okay. is one where we would uh, take a person's live blood. We would then culture it mm. and we would say, well, let's put some lime in there. Let's put some mold in there. Let's put some metal implants in there. Let's grow the blood for 24 hours. And then we'll count the white blood cells with a radioactive cell counter to see how many there are. And funny enough, if you have huge amounts of new white blood cells, when they're exposed to Lyme, you have an infection. So we were doing a very precise scientific thing. It's not a very scalable test. It's very hard to run. We had to send the blood to Belgium, but I diagnosed myself in addition to Western blot um, with this test, which is called the Melisa test. And it's a, a very potent way to tell whether it's an active or an old infection. Uh, and at this point, I, I find that most people, if they clear up mold, Lyme is easy. But if you start with Lyme and you ignore mold, Lyme is almost impossible. So they they go together. Absolutely. 110%. I also love the fact that you're remineralizing your coffee because one of the big, you know, there's so many downfalls to other traditional coffee, but one of them is it making your system a little bit more acidic and it's been known to actually pull minerals from your teeth and from your bones. And so you've actually kind of counteracted that with. Oh, yeah. Shooting and that, and that is just just for people who know my work. This is Danger Coffee that does that, which is my newest one. Um, I used to, uh, I, I found it and used to work for Bulletproof, but I don't anymore. Yeah, um, I, I love the Danger Coffee actually so much more, even the even than the Bulletproof, like the flavor, everything. Um, so, what uh, other than mold? What are some of the other toxicities that you got to watch out for in coffee that makes Danger Coffee different? There, there can be pesticides in coffee. And one of the things that I would watch out for in coffee, and you're going to laugh at this, is organic coffee. So in order for a coffee plantation to be certified as organic, it costs more than a typical plantation makes in a year if it's run by a small, a small cooperative or a small family. So if you buy organic coffee, you're supporting large hedge funds buying up all of the coffee, making it shitty right so that they can afford the organic certification and then charge a dollar per pound more at the lowest wholesale cost what it does it screws small farmers and families and i don't do organic coffee because most coffee that you can buy from these small farms they can't afford pesticides they're growing in old ways so i do single estate uh, we go out and we talk to the farmers we look at their processes and then we lab test it so that allows us to do a fair trade certified or rainforest alliance certified which are far more important for coffee so organic coffee just supports big companies it doesn't support your health lab tested coffee like danger coffee that supports farmers and supports you directly you're going to get a better product and farmers get paid better unbelievable i had no idea because typically we're made to think especially those of us that are health practitioners you know if you're going with the organic label that you know that it's going to be a little bit better. But in this case, you're screwing over the small farmers. So great to know is the, we're coming up to the end here. What other little truth bombs do we need to know about what makes Danger Coffee so amazing? Well, let's talk about just coffee in general and circadian rhythms of cortisol and acidity. <laughs> a little bit technical, but I've been through stage four adrenal fatigue multiple times. First time, I believe the no coffee thing, and it took me a year and a half of carefully nursing my adrenals back. Second time, it took me six weeks and I drank coffee. Hmm. Now, 
what happens is it has to be mold free coffee so you don't further trigger your stress response but in the morning your cortisol is supposed to rise coffee causes a very small rise in cortisol in most people and since your cortisol is supposed to go up in the morning to raise your blood pressure so you don't fall over when you get out of bed it's not a bad thing in addition the acid in coffee is a fruit acid like lime and what that means is that when you drink it your acidity levels go up acidity produces power but alkaline induces endurance so when you drink your danger coffee in the morning then assuming that it's got all those fruit acids that are in coffee in it fruit acids will give you a spike in acidity and then as they metabolize they become alkaline which gives you the endurance so i'm not saying if you're if you're in the middle of recovery that you should be relying on coffee all day long no but if you want to have a cup in the morning you'll probably recover at least as fast, if not faster, but you'll feel better because feeling like garbage for two years and losing your career and yelling at your kids all the time because you're healing is a really poor strategy. And a lot of practitioners are still there. You are supposed to feel good. And if that means you have a cup of ultra clean coffee with electrolytes and minerals in the morning, and it brings you six hours of amazingness, I think you owe it to yourself to do that. And plus it tastes good. It's pleasant, you know, feeling or experiencing joy and savoring something that's delicious. It's part of what makes life worth living. So to say, well, I'm healing. So I have to live in like a monk because I'm healing. It's not real. You don't have to do it. I've done it both ways. Do support your adrenals. Do take your glandulars. Do gently detox your body and don't rely on coffee or anything else for energy. And for that matter, if you still feel like crap, ask your practitioner for modafinil or, or a stimulant that is good for you, not Adderall, but something that just lets you be present, gets the blood flowing in your brain so that you can heal and do your work as a parent, as a teacher, as a community member, because it's okay to feel good while you're healing. And I, I suffered greatly. And one of the things that motivates me every day, I have 3000 posts on daveasprey.com. There's 1100 podcasts with leading experts it's called the human upgrade all of that is because i don't want anyone to go through what i went through so i write it if i'd have just known this when i was 19 i wouldn't have hit 300 pounds all this other bad stuff wouldn't have happened it's not as hard as you think it is but it's really hard if you wake up every morning and you're a zombie and you never exit zombie mode so coffee it's just look at the studies do coffee all cause mortality and see what you find just don't use google it's a crap search engine that doesn't do anything for health anymore google's untrustworthy <laughs> amen absolutely hey so make sure you'll get your link in the show notes i actually have a discount code too you can nice. use so i absolutely like i said i've switched and i've not gone back because i mean we used to use other coffees and before i knew better and every the smell of it, right, would just always mm -hmm. call to me. And then like you, like I felt like crap afterwards because my body was just like, what is all this crap and the mold and the toxicity? Mm -hmm. So it is just amazing to be able to drink coffee again and not have it just lay me out flat with the jitters and the spike and the crash and yeah, the whole thing. So it's so much more gentle on my gut. Like I love the focus that it helps with. I like pairing it with some CBD and, you know, a little later, some methylene blue and red light. And it just really focuses everything in there. So I wanted to say thank you again for joining us today Sorry. and um, really appreciate everything that you've done. Thank you so much. What's the discount code? So when people are listening to this, they'll know what it is. It's either the Lime Boss. I think it's the Lime Boss or it's Lime Boss. I can't remember if the L, the, the, the is in there. I should have checked. All right, guys. So the, you can go to dangercoffee.com, use code Lime Boss or the Lime Boss. One of the two should work or maybe both. <laughs> and then Get, give it a try and yeah, see absolutely. what happens. You don't have to drink coffee all day long, but a cup in the morning is likely going to be a good choice for you. You know what we like to do? We actually have a bag of decaf and a bag of regular, and we actually mix it so we kind of get a little less caffeine for those of us are really sensitive to caffeine, yeah. and it's just it's perfect. I love it. And, and just a quick note as we're winding up, decaf coffee is always moldier than regular coffee from any brand because most brands take the world's crappiest coffee and decaffeinate it because they know it's not going to taste that good anyway. <laughs> we take the same exact uh, world-class coffee beans that are lab tested and we decaffeinate those. And the difference is very noticeable in how you feel. Absolutely. 110%. I can vouch. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much and uh, stay tuned. Thanks, Heather. Hey there. 
I used to not be able to drink coffee. I always reacted to it horribly. It hurt my stomach. It made me over jittery and would inflame me and cause histamine issues, but not anymore. Not that I've since I started drinking Danger Coffee by Dave Asprey. It's his next, next level of coffees. He came out with Bulletproof and now this is the next level up. So it is mold free, toxin free, and he infuses it with minerals and electrolytes. So unlike other coffees, they can actually pull minerals minerals and electrolytes from your system for being because you're it's too acidic it actually helps replenish those and so I don't react to it at all I get to have my bulletproof coffee with my MTC oil and my grass-fed butter and I don't get the jitters I don't get the crashes and I love how focused and energized it makes me feel again non-toxic mold-free infused with minerals and electrolytes I absolutely love danger coffee Make sure to check out my website, thelineboss.com. Go to the resource section and get yours. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this episode. Even if you found one little piece of inspiring nugget in it, this is how we change people's lives. This is how people get better. This is how people get hope. So please make sure that you are liking, sharing, and subscribing. Stay tuned for the next episode. You're not going to want to miss it. And while you're at it, head to my website, thelimeboss.com, and make sure you download your free video series, Real Cooking for Real Life. Learn amazing, delicious meals in 20 minutes or less. Learn why and how we cook certain things that are toxin-free, free of contaminants, and, and how to get a delicious, healthy meal under 20 minutes. You're not going to want to miss out. That's thelimeboss.com.